Copenhagen, a um, beautiful city. Full of Danish people. A lot of people there have blonde hair. Blue eyes, fair hair, blind, blue eyes. Blonde, blue eyes. And they have a, um, a big roller coaster there. I met a Danish girl last year, black humour. I think you have good bacon. Bacon? Danish bacon. Quite a happy bunch of people, I think. <laughs> I remember when I grew up, everybody was talking about climate and whether humans had impacted the temperature. And now we're all talking about how much we're impacting. Climate change is one of the biggest challenges that face us and it's going to affect people, plants and animals. So it's important to understand the processes and the dynamics of the change. It's the only way to really mitigate and adapt to the problems that we're going to face. The Master in Climate Change has a profile characterized, first of all, by interdisciplinarity. It covers a wide spectrum of traditional academic disciplines, uh, from anthropology, political science in one end, to geophysics in, in the other end. In between we have courses on land use, we have courses on water resources, we have courses on health uh, aspects of climate change. Uh, just about any conceivable um, aspect of climate change is covered by a course. I just started my master's degree here at the University of Copenhagen and in my climate course right now we're looking a lot on the IPCC reports. We're looking at temperature changes and projected temperature changes. Okay. Today we're going on a field trip. We're going out to an old bog and we're going to measure the spatial variety of CO2. We're going to be there for the whole weekend. At the moment I'm doing my master thesis where I study permafrost dynamics in Greenland. Permafrost is frozen soil with a high content of carbon. So when the permafrost thaws, then that carbon will be available for decomposition. And if that goes into the atmosphere, then it might increase global warming even more. To do field work in Greenland is one of the most interesting things I've done, because you got the processes ready to be measured right where you are. So that way your data is as new as it can be, and you're able to make new results that nobody else has looked at before. Okay, I'm going to turn this off. We can just do the, the heights. Yeah. Chamber number two. I think what I really like it's just the whole social environment. Because when you feel at home, it's so much easier to focus on your studies when that's what you need to do. But there's so many clubs and so many organizations and so many events taking place. And it's really easy to join if you want to. And that means that you get to know a lot of people. And you also get to influence how your education is going to be if you choose to take part of some of the more academic groups. The Master in Climate Change is probably, at the global scale, the most interdisciplinary program on climate change. So if that's what counts for you, choose the program. I think you should choose an education in climate change at the University of Copenhagen because you're dealing with global problems that is going to affect us all. And you also got the possibility to go out all over the world, whether it's Greenland or Africa, to do field work and really get away to see the problems.